likes to lean out of range to miss a shot and come back with counters. He has to be very careful that he doesn't lean back into a shot. Abatai is a perfect prototype of a southpaw sniper. I mean, he has, a, like you said, a beautiful bounce and a rhythm to his uh, lower body, his footwork, and that, that creates openings. You know, he doesn't always need to be fainting. It's that nice little bounce that he has from that southpaw angle that actually intimidates opponents like, like Zoro. You know, they don't know when he's going to pounce and come with that straight left hand. Yeah, that presents an added dimension of difficulty for Zoro. Already a golfing class in terms of the opponents that they've faced, but he's never been up against the southpaw in the professional ranks. Yeah, the feints, the head movement, always moving, has brilliant variation with that left hand. You see him there come wide with the shot. Has to make sure that right hand's tucked higher, Zoro. The crowd sensing that that left hand from Opatia might be the precursor to something more detonating. It definitely is going to be detonating sooner or later because he alternates it from a straight left hand to the chin. He turns it around to a hook just like he did there, and he also throws it downstairs to the body. You know, so it comes from every angle, and it's very dangerous at all times. Just like that, beautiful shot. Always changing the levels with his shot, and it makes it very difficult for opponents to read his work. They have no idea where the shots are coming from. And that's because of the, the footwork. It's that's fantastic. It's, it's a footwork. It's brilliant uh, uh, lower body. The foundation of Apatia is just something special. And those shots right there, that intimidates opponents to cover up the body, and that's why he went for the home run upstairs. And when you do look at that footwork, what we always talk about in the southpaw against the orthodox, and there you see it almost as Opatai is just nudged off balance. He's placing that lead foot, the right foot, outside of the left foot of Zorro. I like where he's positioning himself, though, Zorro, in the ring. He's not getting bullied too far. Back on. Oh, big shot! Single shot, left hand. Zorro is out. Zorro is out. His head hit the canvas. That's bad news. He gave an indication of what was to come earlier in the round. And in one decisive moment, it's all over for Elisoro. The Jack. golfing class described here by one single punch as Opatia now walks over to his stricken opponent, who is sitting up, being tended to by the medics here at ringside and his own corner. But that was truly devastating.